Ultimate Medicine, the new coming book, new course by Dr. Yitzhak Zrimer. Hello to you. Hi. What, according to your perspective, is the biggest disease that the Ultimate Medicine is helping mankind? The biggest disease of humanity is what we call the sleep disease the unawakening disease. So, um, when you are asleep, when you're, when you're a sleepwalker, sleepwalker, um, you then have two things. First thing is, you're not awake, or you are sleepwalking. The second one, you are invisible. So, when you are not awake, you are in respond to what's happening in the world, you're not in creation of what's happening in the world. And when you are in response all the time, you are not you cannot be seen. Because you when you're not creating or not creating enough, nobody sees you. So you are not in expression. So when you are a sleepwalker, when you are not awake in this life, you're just existing in this life you are not in expression. When you're not in expression, you're not seeing. When you're not seeing, you are drifting. Give me an example uh, to better understand what exactly do you mean by uh, walking and sleeping at the same time. So, it's all matter mm -hmm. of awareness and consciousness. Awareness and consciousness. Awareness is the point that you have a collective information and memory mm -hmm. and understanding of everything in your life from the moment you were, you, you were born to now. That's what you aware to in life. As more you are aware, with that you can live very good, very healthy, or you can live medium well healthy and good in your life or very low life conditions to yourself because you're not aware to life. As more you are aware, as more you have collective information from your life and memories that direct you in this life, you can also anticipate the next consciousness level of you which is the potential self, yourself, in the next step. So if you are in low awareness, you have no ambition for your next consciousness level. So you stay in the same level, you suffer, you are in a job that you don't like, you're unhealthy, you don't like, you're in a relationship you don't like, and you're with money that you don't like, and it's not enough. And you stay in that awareness and you think that's all. And you have no ambition to the next step because you don't believe you can go to the next step which is your next consciousness level. And the ultimate medicine, how exactly would it help so ultimate, to these people? Exactly. So ultimate medicine actually takes you to your next level of awareness and consciousness. It takes you from the spot that you are stuck in life. Mm -hmm. And because when you're stuck, you, are, you might be sick, you might be in, de in depression, you might be in fear, you might be in anxiety, and you might not have enough money in your life, and you'll be unhappy. So ultimate medicine, you come to it because you, one of these things are not well, right with you, not well with you. So you'll get help to become more aware, wake up, mm -hmm. and then can do a leap to your next consciousness level, and then your health, your mind, and your pocket, and your happiness can change to the next level. Disease, physical or mental, fear, and poverty are only expressions of you not being awake enough on a, cert on a certain level. Like uh, you would say uh, in the new coming book, mobili, as an example that you are, if you're drifting from the, the road, it wakes you up? Exactly. So. Mobile, which is a device in your car that when you're getting off-road or mm -hmm. getting close to somebody that you shouldn't, it beeps up, uh -huh. it wakes you up. 
mo before the mobile you would hit the car or hit somebody else and then wake up but then it's too late many times it's too late and you'll be injured and others mm -hmm. so ultimate medicine if we compare it to any other medicine mm -hmm. wakes you up where other medicines sets you where you are numb in that at that position at that level and time numb with pills or any other things that they give you just to say, well, stay where you are and not get worse, in a sense. But you'll get worse. And the ultimate medicine wakes you up. Exactly. So it brings you to your next awareness level, mm -hmm. which is actualization, and then brings you to your next potentialization, that's your consciousness level. So you, you play a game between awareness, actualization, consciousness, potentialization and you do that all the time, you climb. And then the, f the sense of fear, the disease, the poverty would gone away? So you will know, first of all, how to manage them from a different perspective. And once you manage them from different perspective, mm -hmm. you're not getting there anymore. You know how to steer yourself in life where you're not getting into poverty or sickness or fear. You know that you have more possibilities and potentialities to fulfill from the point that you are, so you have something to look forward for and be a lot of, you, it, it will give, make you very, um, it will give you hope for your next level and instead of despair that you cannot make a leap to your next level. So it wakes you up from where you are to your next level by make you understand first that it's possible and then I can take you there I can take you there and the doctors are they the the Western doctors are they the right tool the right instrument are they awake enough to help other people most of them not so most of them will take patients that are numb sleepwalker and with disease and manage them in that level with that disease only manage them to some co comfort in that level but never take them to the next level but when you manage them here at that level with drugs or surgery or anything else in time they'll drop a level and then you'll have to manage them here and then the drop a level and you have to manage them again in the lower level and doctors are trained only to keep you in the same level and when you go down to the next level they'll have to manage you there in that level but never take you up to the next level unless they will be learning and afterwards curing and helping people with the ultimate medicine unless they will be trained to become an ultimate mm -hmm. health provider doctor then they can take a patient from his lower level instead of managing in sickness, managing to help to the next level, and the next level, and the next level, absolutely. So, practically, you would say that it would need a series of doctors, of variety of independent expertise, to create or combine the ultimate doctor, or one can gain all the knowledge through himself as one tool, one 360 degrees of a, a ability to awaken. So when you are any type of doctor now, you mm -hmm. have only one toolbox. Mm -hmm. It's not enough. When you want to become an ultimate health provider doctor, you need a lot of tools from a lot of areas in of health to put you in front of your patient and know how to manage him with anything that he needs, everything mm -hmm. that he needs from all types of professions to one. That's when you become an ultimate health provider doctor. You have a lot of tools and you know how to suit the tool to the patient that is in need. Not everybody will need all the tools. But that's what, that's what an ultimate health provider doctor will do. Because the regular doctor would send the patients to an endless amount of checks and exams and pills and sometimes surgeries that 
we cannot be certain that they would practically help. Exactly. So when you are only limited to your knowledge in your profession, mm -hmm. if it's a medical doctor, if it's a chiropractor doctor, if it's a naturopath doctor, each one will lean very heavily to what he knows to manage their patient and it will be only one out of five areas in health that you can give him. So you need to know exactly where to lean with that patient and you have all the tools. You're talking about a handful of tools, the five tools which are? It's conventional medicine, it's chiropractic medicine, it's uh, biochemical medicine, it's psychological medicine, and it's quantum mind medicine, quantum field medicine, yes. And if you could share one line of a practical tools that is combined within each finger, what exactly is being done in each and every a finger of tools? So when you go into conventional medicine, you have a very broad uh, uh, broad understanding of pathology. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of instruments for examinations to come to a diagnosis mm -hmm. and to understand prognosis. So you have that these tools. Do you know when to use conventional medicine in emergency medicine? Mm -hmm. They're very good at it. So they can they know how to look at you in, in, in a time of need of emergency and know how to exactly treat you in that time which mm -hmm. is very very important that's actually a medicine that you cannot manage without it there is a lot of research there there's a lot of money there and there is a lot of understanding of chemistry there so they're doing a very good job with that and you know how where to, when to send them to them it's when you need mostly emergency medicine then you go into the chiropractic medicine chiropractic medicine is a type of medicine that it's way ahead of its time that manages the nervous system through the spinal, spinal column and the rest of the um, musculoskeletal uh, uh, parts of us. So when you know how to manage neurology through the spine, through the musculoskeletal, you give the patient a very big shot in succeeding in managing energy between the brain and the body, the body and the brain to completion of health, mental health, physical health. So without that, you are stuck. Understood. The third medicine is biochemical. You need to know how to direct your patients one by one, what to eat, what not to eat, when to eat, how much to eat, what supplements to take, what pills to take. You need to know how to steer them very, very carefully. To, due to the condition, each one is different, due to the condition, how to manage them within biochemistry mm -hmm. because they are biological beings with food and supplements and pills. So it's very important that you understand that field very well and you know how to manage them there. So you cannot um, give somebody pills for diabetes and let them eat whatever he wants. It's not going to work and usually that's what's happening. So you know how to direct them to what they need if it's heart condition, if it's musculoskeletal condition, if it's mental condition, what to eat, when to eat, how much to eat, and to supplement it. Exactly. The next very important medicine is the psyche part of the human being, psychology. You need to understand the soul of that person. What drives him, what, make, what moves him to become healthy or sick? What, what leans on his heart, mm -hmm. on his mind, that makes him healthy or sick, poor or rich, or happy or, or sad. So the doctor needs to know to see how much weight on his health of that patient is coming from his mind, from his soul. If, if it's a lot of, if, if, so he needs to know how to manage it, understand it, and steer the person with immediate psychology, which is quick psychology, first by understanding the patient and then give him tools. Not in years, but in days. So that's very, very important type of medicine that a doctor must understand, must uh, manage the patient with. And the last one is quantum mind medicine, is energetic medicine. We are energetic, informational beings. And to not to understand that we are energetic or informational beings, beings if you don't know how to manage that and how to accelerate it, how to 
fortify the energy of that person when he's sick or poor or in pain or in fear you can do anything you want you can move his vertebras you can give him pills you can feed him right but if his energy is not synchronized is not a, um, uh, frequenized that's that's a better word which is vibration and frequency frequenized correctly to his frequentization or what we call the there nothing will help once you frequentize him and then the rest of things can work very nicely so you combine all these five fields into one and then you give the patient a almost near perfect treatment through understanding of all these five types of medicine and when the ultimate doctor is frequentizing the person so then he is awake again very good point when you frequentize the patient you wake him up you are steering or 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 direct directing his channel mm -hmm. his vibrational frequency to its correct one and then he wakes up more and more and more and become more and more aware awake and his consciousness level is rising it makes him a different person or a more potentialized person that he's supposed to be is there any type of person or patients or disease that the ultimate medicine couldn't help so the doctor the ultimate doctor would say sorry sir but we cannot take it from here okay so when you look at disease mm -hmm. disease is only a call it's only a something that tells you that something that you do think eat or behave is wrong the disease itself is not a problem mm -hmm. the problem is the person so you're not touching the disease you touch the person you wake up the person you direct the person you help the person any person any person and any being by the way it can be a dog and a horse also so you direct them to back to their path back to the frequentization back to their alignment back to their being and then the disease doesn't need to exist anymore to tell them that they are off the path. So you're not dealing with disease, you deal with the core, which the core is the person moving out of his path, moving out of his frequentization, moving out of his alignment. So you steer him, help him, direct him, and then he become healthy because you treat only one thing, the person. Dr. Yitzhak Drimil with a better understanding of the ultimate medicine as part of the new coming book, the new chapter, and uh, the new courses. I want to thank you very much. And to ask if people are seeing that video and this interview and they want to be part of uh, your community, just to click to leave the details over the social networks, the book, the website, and to come and to get the ultimate treatment. Absolutely. Dr. Itzhak thank you so much. Thank you.